Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check out and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Firestone Walker. This is their Double Jack. This is their Double IPA. It comes from Firestone Walker. They're out of Paso Robles, California. It is an American Double slash Imperial IPA coming in at 9.50 ABV. It's a summer beer, so uh, we're at the end of summer, just going into fall here in October. Food pairings of this cuisine is barbecue and the cheeseries, cheeses, cheeseries, cheeses are going to be peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, blue, sharp, uh, your more pungent cheeses, cheddar, uh, even gorgonzola and Lumberg will go with your uh, IPAs and especially your double IPAs. The glassware today, you could use a snifter, a tulip, oversized wine glass. If you only have a pint glass poured into that. I got the Dubell glass. That's what I use for the Imperial Stouts and, and the IPAs guys. The beer is not recommended for extended sellers, but it is almost a 10% beer. It will keep. It will not go bad, but you'll lose some of the hoppiness from the uh, from selling it because it will diminish over time. So, uh, Don't see a date on the bottle. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's this year, summer edition. But it doesn't have a date that I can see here unless it's digitized somewhere. It's not on the label anywhere other than the barcode. So, that's the same cap as the last one. Uh, they're counting their gold medal awards and stuff. So, let's get this one in the glass and see what this is about. It comes highly recommended. And uh, I enjoy pretty much uh, the beers that I can get from them out here. They don't send all their beers out here to the East Coast, especially not to Virginia anyway, so I got a very limited uh, selection of uh, Firestone Walker beers out here. It pours a very orangey tangerine color, fairly clear, I can see the light, the bulb right through it, so uh, a lot of carbonation in it, the bubble streaming up from the bottom of the glass. Pouring about a half a finger of head there, uh, very white soapy bubbles on that, so let's get a nose on this one. Oh yeah, a lot going on there. A lot of hops. Uh, definitely West Coast style. A lot of your lighter fruits and stuff. It's real piney. Grapefruity. Pineapple mango. I mean, a lot of light fruit. A lot of your tropical fruits in this, in this smell. And that's very, to me, typical of the West Coast style. Very pleasing for the hop heads such as myself. Smells delicious. Guys, cheers. Very citrusy. Tropical. I said that once already, but that's that's the best way to describe it. Very light. Orange peel. Delicious. Delicious. 9.5, drinks like maybe a six and a half, seven at the most. I don't get the alcohol on the nose or the taste. It is a wonderful beer. Well, it's the big bottle, it's a bomber. I'm going to share some of this, but definitely an A beer. I wonder if it's going to get to 10. Stick around. I'll be right back and we'll find out. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Got a little left in the glass here. Very, very, very impressive beer. Now that the uh, condensation has gone off the bottle, right here on the, the, the neck of the bottle, if you hold it in the right, just light, and you stand on your head and you burp jelly beans, you can see that it's got digitized 051211 in microscopic letters. My wife could not read it without her glasses on, would never see it. 
And I could not see it when it was cold out of the refrigerator with the condensation on it. I mean, why do they have to put it on the brown part of the bottle and not on the label? I don't understand that. Of course, you know, if you're buying an IPA, and normally it should be refrigerated, and it would be refrigerated when you bought it, so how are you going to see the date on it if it's moisture on it? So, I appreciate them putting the date on it, but it needs to be on the label or written in white ink and not black digitized ink on a brown bottle that you cannot see. <laughs> just my, just my opinion, just my opinion guys. I'm glad to put the date on so, so we at least got the date. If you got your microscope, you can check it out, look on it. Cheers, final chug. Ah, very, very pleasant. Guys, this is definitely a tin beer. It's an excellent beer. It's got the date on it. Just make sure you take your microscope and you know to look right around on the neck for a little digitized imprint on it. That's where they're putting it. Sort of on the label. What should you put on the label? What should you put on the label? Very nice, though. Very pleasant beer. It is a 10 beer. If you can get this, I'm going to give it a 10. It's got the date. It's an IPA. Uh, it just needs to be a little more uh, a little more planner for everybody to see. Couldn't see it until it, uh, it dried off on the bottle there. The rate beer has us a hundred over all, so ring that bell again, blowing the hair back and all that guys, and 99 in the style. So pretty impressive. It's a it's a damn tasty beer. It's worth picking up, especially if you're a hop head, and especially if you like a double IPA. This is uh this ought to be beside the definition of what a double IPA is. It's very West Coast style with a piney, grapefruity, tropical fruit aspects of it. So very, very nice, very, very nice. Beer Advocate comes up with an A- minus on this one, so it's definitely an A beer all around, so if you see it, pick it up, give it a try. Pretty sure you'll like it if you're a hophead. And guys, come on back tomorrow. Let's we'll see what's in it for us together. And hit that like button if you like it, and if you need a shirt, give me a shout. See you tomorrow.